countdown. For which well, they'll, just, they'll be getting into the habit, into the countdown habit. Yeah. So welcome all the students in, in your universities and, and those of you returning for the second and third year. Well, good luck to you in the third year, of course. It's the final year, so it'll all be a bit yes. sad and lots of hard work. And I wonder if you'll have a toilet dedicated to you this year. Well, no, but I do By actually students. have a black hole dedicated to me, funnily enough. A black hole? Yes. <laughs> what people send in. I wasn't going to mention it, but you gave me the perfect cue. Go on, then. Dear Richard, recently you were digging so many holes for yourself, we decided to send you one together with a means of escape. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, they've sent me this. It's like it is a black hole, look. And uh, there's a ladder so I can get out of it. <laughs> Ridiculous what people do, isn't it? I mean, someone actually sat down and did that. That's fantastic. Uh, Richard and... Oh, it's called Richard. Oh, dear. Another Dick. Richard. Dick Knight. That's the fourth Oh, is it Richard and Margaret Knight. He's a good chap, Richard Knight. He's a good knight. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's my little hole, so I'll keep it there. Every time I fall into, go into a hole, I'll use the ladder, OK? OK. I'll put it there. Because it is the Richard, Richard and Richard show. Well, it is. Uh, yes, we're ahead of me here. Ahead of me here, Carol, because you've been looking at the names on the things, because we do have champion Mike Brown and challenger Richard Merriman. Welcome. <laughs> Well, nice to see Mike back again into the week in fantastic form, actually. 112, and topped that on Friday with 115. So, well, well done. I can only say that. Well done to Mike Brown. Uh, he's a IT project leader from Kings Lynn. So that's Mike Brown. Now, Richard Merriman. It's a good name. Richard Merriman. He's a school teacher from Dublin's Fair City. He teaches English. But he says he prefers the numbers, actually, on Countdown. He's a member of the Mount Pleasant Lawn Tennis Club and also watching, he likes watching Grand Prix racing and rugby, particularly rugby. So today, Richard's going to give it a fair old try, convert his words into as many points as possible so he can go forward past the champion and scrum back again. So welcome, Richard Merriman. There's always a twinkle in the eyes of you Irish people. Is it something in the water? Oh, it's something in the Guinness, I think. Oh, something in the Guinness, I see, right. <laughs> Which to you is water, I suppose, yeah. isn't it? OK, well, there he is, schoolteacher Richard, a merry man. Now, you'd be glad to meet Richard, our, uh, being of an academic frame of mind, our guardian of the dictionaries uh, for this week. Uh, actually, he hasn't been true to his roots, I have to say. His ancestors came over in boats to teach us a thing or two whereas he went to Edinburgh Academy and Jesus College, Oxford, to learn a thing or two. Anyway, he has more doctorates than the average university, and his charm has made sure that this Icelandic mastermind is to everyone's Viking. So, assisted by our own Mr. Cool, Richard Samson, please welcome back Magnus Magnusson. <laughs> Hello there. Great to see you, Magnus. Are you in good form? Yes, it's good to be back, I must say, especially when all the students are coming back, because I am a perpetual student. I am an opsimath. Are you? Yes. Well, well. That an opsimath. Tell us more. You. Oh, tell us later on. <laughs> it tell means us later. one who learns late in life. Oh, yes, well. Ah. <laughs> I'm waiting for... I went... Well, when I get to late in life, I'll sort of start to learn. Oh. I've, got, I've got that to look forward to, haven't I? There's Carol, how you have Richard Sampson, Richard Merriman and Richard Whiteley. Is there a word for three Richards, Magnus? Um, a trio of dafties. <laughs> <laughs> you did say dafties, right. Maybe a dichotomy? A d oh, he said... What? A, a dichotomy. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, a dichotomy. Excellent. Well done, well done, uh, Richard. Right, well, we could talk all day, but we must get on with the business, so, Mike, off you go. Hello, Carol. Hello. A consonant, please. Thank you. Z. We've got that out of the way. And another <laughs> yes. one, please. Relax now. N. And the third. And T. And a vowel, please. I. And another one. E. And another one. I. And a consonant, please. G. And another one. M. And another consonant, please. And a consonant? That's S. Thank you. Counting down.
Okay, Mike. I'll stick with seven. Well, he's sticking with a seven, Richard. I'll seven. You'll you're happy with your seven? I'm, well, moderately. Okay. <laughs> What's moderately? You're happy with it? Tell us what it is. Timings. Timings. Yes, timings are all important in this program. Timings, of course, Mike. And misting. And misting. Misting. Were you playing with anything else, Mike? Yeah. Wondered about zingiest. Well, it's like Probably some not. fizzy drink, no, isn't no. it, really? No, zingy, zing is in the dictionary, but zingy isn't, I'm afraid. So zingiest wouldn't have been too good. But there is something similar, isn't there, Magnus? There is. It's, I think it's a Scottish word. Mingiest. You're mingy. Mingy? He's well, he has meaning sort of mean and yeah, what? He's yes. mingier and I'm mingiest. OK, mingy. Sort of same as stingy? Yes. Yeah, mingiest. <laughs> right. OK, well, if it's in the book, there it is. Anyway, good start for these guys, seven and seven. Richard, your letters. Hi, Carol. Hello. Can I have a consonant, please? You may. R. And a vowel? E. And a consonant? D. Mm -hmm. A consonant? C. A vowel? O. Consonant? L. Vowel? E. Consonant? P. And I'll finish with a vowel, please. And finish with I. OK, let's start the clock. Yes, Richard. Seven. Mike. And seven as well. Richard, seven. Policed. Policed, Mike. And pierced. Pierced. Well, another good seven for them both. Magnus. Well, <laughs> once again, an eight. Mm. Oh, do you, sir? Yes, the eight is recoiled. Steps back in alarm. <laughs> yes, recoiled for eight. R-E-C-O-I-L-E-D. Thank you. Fourteen and fourteen, <coughs> the score. <coughs> Mike to go, please. Uh, consonant, please. V. And another one. R. And the third. G. And a vowel, please. A. And another one. E. And another one. O. And a consonant, please. T. And another one. N. And a vowel, please. And vowel. And E. OK, I start the clock. Yes, Mike? Uh, seven. Another seven. Richard? A risky six. <laughs> risky six. Heck, what's the risky six? A toner. One who atones. We look at that one. Mike? A reagent. Reagent? Yeah, reagent's chemical term, something we attract, reacts with something else. That's absolutely fine. I thought we had a hangover, which you get from tea instead of from anything else. A tangover. <laughs> a tangover. Yeah. No, a toner isn't there, I'm afraid. A tone is there, but there's no agent now that goes with it. No, OK. Sorry. Well, it was a six, and it was risky, so he's not too upset yeah. about that. Yes, Magnus, what have you got well, finally? We do, we do have an, an eight as well, yet again. Renovate. Yes. Renovate. Good. Renovate, renovate is therefore the eight for renovate. Good. OK, well, Mr Merriman, to you, sir. I'll start with the consonant again, please. Thank you, Richard. F. A vowel. A. Consonant. Q. Frequently asked questions. A right? vowel, please. On the internet. I. Consonant. H. Consonant. D. A vowel, please. E. 
consonant. S. Mm -hmm. And I'll finish with a vowel. And A. Uh, thank you. Starting the clock.